Long ago, there lived a widow in a certain village. Her hut was in a corner of the village where she lived with her five-year-old son, Gopa. Since there were no means of living, she would beg from door to door and when she had enough food grains, she would return home. Meanwhile, Gopa kept playing with the other children of the village. She was much worried about her son to think about his future. One day she took him to a guru cool and folding her arms requested the guru to grant education to her son. The children of all the villagers were getting an education from this guru cool, so the guruji inducted the child into his guru cool, and thus his education started. We would go to the guru cool with other children and return home with them in the evening, sometimes even after sunset. Gopa was young but very intelligent. Whatever the guru taught, he memorized it quickly. Not only that, but he was also very obedient to his guru and did whatever he was told. Gutuji was much pleased to have such a talented and obedient in his guru cool. One day, Gopa told his mother in the evening that he felt much scared while crossing the jungle. Owing to his small legs he always lagged behind the other children who would walk very fast and soon cross the jungle. The sounds of different animals coming from the jungle frightened him. The widow got much worried to learn this from Gopa, as she was well aware of the fact that there was none in the world whom she could say own and who would come to help her. She thought hard. She only wanted to drive out the fear from his heart. Fear is the biggest impediment in one's life. At last, she told him to call his elder brother for help. Since he lived in the very same jungle, he would certainly come to help him. So the boy, the very next day, found himself alone in the middle of the jungle. Frightening noises though were coming from inside it. He slowly tried to walk, but couldn't. His legs just would not move. They got stuck to the ground. It seemed that suddenly some animal would appear from somewhere and tear him into pieces and kill him. He hid behind a thick tree and closed his eyes. It seemed that his end had come. He remembered his mother's words. Call your elder brother for help. He lives there and he would come to help you. He called his brother, Gopal Baya. Come here quickly. I'm feeling afraid. Please come and help me get out of here. The boy gave a call. There was dead silence. He waited for some time, but nobody came to his call. He felt disappointed. He knew his mother could not lie. He gave me another call. But there was none. Only a few owls flew from the nearby trees. He felt perhaps his Gopal Baya was angry with him. But why should he be angry? He thought and again gave another call. Gopal Baya, where are you? Why are you not coming for my help? See, I'm very afraid here. Please come immediately. I'm getting late. This time he almost broke down. Why are you crying? I was a little away, so I'm some late. He saw a boy of about 10 come from behind the nearby bushes. He wiped his tears with his palm and took his little hand on his walk through the lonely, desolate path of the jungle. Now it was no longer frightening. The melodious tune coming out from Gopal Bayu's flute had done away with all fears from his little heart and infused it with new energy. He couldn't realize when he came out of the jungle. He left Gopa and went back with a promise to meet him again the next day. Now, Gopal Bayu every day came to help him in the jungle. He told this to his mother, at which she folded her hands and bowed her head in gratitude. One evening, he told his mother that there was a big function at the Gurukul the next day. His Guruji would perform Hawan for good health and the welfare of all the people living in this world. Like all the other children of the Gurukul, he too wanted to offer something to him on this auspicious occasion. There was nothing at home. Not a single coin or a trinket could be given. Why don't tell so to your elder brother? He would tell about this his Gopal Baya. But he would meet him in the evening while he wanted the offering in the morning. The next morning every child had something in their hand. Someone had a basket of fruits, someone had grains, 
someone had new clothes, and so on. He was the only one who was going without any offers. He was sad. He walked on but his feet were not moving. Suddenly he felt someone calling him. It was a boy looking like a cowherd. He was just as tall as his elder brother. He had a small pot of milk in his hand which he handed over to him, and asked him to give only to his Guruji. A little later, he arrived at the Gurukul and was happy to find his Guruji. He was in his seat. Children were tiptoeing to him one by one, putting their offerings beside him, and returning to their place after touching his feet respectfully. Gopa went to him and extended his hand to give the pot to him. Guruji was doing something, so with a gesture of his eyes, he wanted him to place it somewhere near him. It was a very small presence in comparison with others. He decided to wait. After some time, when Guruji was alone, he walked to him and extended his small pot towards him. He held it in his hand, and casting a look of indifference onto it gave it to one of his disciples, and instructed him to pour it out in the big drum. A was followed by loud laughter. It was poured into a huge drum. The drum filled up. A little milk was still there at the bottom. He tried to pour it into a small vessel, but what? It too filled up. One more was brought, and it too filled up. Vessel after vessel filled up. Still, there was a little milk left in the bottom. No vessel was empty at the Gurukul. All of them were full of milk. At last, the disciple came back to Guruji and told him about it. He took the pot in his hand. A little milk was still left at the bottom. He called Gopa and put his affectionate hand on his head. He asked him where from he had brought this pot of milk. Gopa told him about his Gopal Bhaiya. Guruji asked him to take him to his elder brother. That evening, Guruji accompanied Gopa. In the jungle as he gave a call to his elder brother, he heard, Why are you calling me this evening? You're not afraid today. Your Guruji is with you. But Bhaiya, Guruji wants to see you. Guruji, who was standing behind a tree, saw a bright light descend from the nearby tree and walk beside Gopa. His eyes filled up with tears of ecstasy. He had never felt such ecstasy ever before.